Hi, I'm Angie Green with Painting with Fibromyalgia. I'm going to be doing a balloon collaboration and it's going to be with the CAC group, Creative Arts Collaboration Group. And I'm going to be doing it with Stuart Wimbles of Free Your Mind and Lynn Airhorn of Cool Gray. I hope you enjoy. What I'm going to be doing is using acrylic paints, heavy body. I thinned it out a little bit with some airbrush medium. I painted my background already. My background is a muted lavenderish color. I used uh, phthalo blue. I used some quinacridone magenta, and I also used. Um, buff, uh, that buff white color, and I'm also um, in a little bit of titanium white. I kind of muted the colors together, kind of a beigey, lavender color, and I'm going to be using balloons to dip the paint, dip into the paint, and do kind of a bokeh background, and then I'm going to be painting flowers in it. So I hope you enjoy as uh, you watch, and maybe you can try this, okay? I'm gonna start with the white. I'm gonna dip it in the white. And first I'm going to um, wet my balloon with some water. And then I'm gonna dip it into the white paint. Get it nice and saturated on there and then I'm going to dip it into the yellow okay. and a little bit of this orangey color it's called Australian Sienna and I just put little bits on there and I'm going to put it onto my canvas right now so here I'm going to go in this corner and this is my background on top of my ground color. And I'm really enjoying that. I left uh, globs of paint on my um, brushes to reload. And this is kind of a super sized bokeh type background. And then I'll be painting some flowers on top of that. So this is really giving it kind of an airy look. It almost has a coincidentally a balloons, to me balloons in the air and a purpley sky. So it should be a very happy painting when I get done. So I put some more white and I'm putting some more yellow as you can see. Kind of mixed it together that time. And I'm going to reload this corner here because I don't want that all over. So I intentionally just put a little bit in the corner. And then I'm going to reload this balloon. I'll be adding some other colors too in a little bit. And I'm going to come over here and get this corner. It's a lot of fun. And then I'm going to come over here and I want to get a little bit of that orangey color and I don't want it that bright and I'm going to come over here and get that on there. I'm going to reload with some more yellow. Kind of a little bit 
too thick, so I'm just watering it down with some water here. I use airbrush medium most of the time, but I have enough of the paint and other polymers that are in the uh, airbrush medium, so I'm not too loaded down with water. So the ratio is not bad. I'm going to hit this with some white. Okay, put my brushes to the side. I have a little brush holder, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to dip into the white, dip into the yellow, and then I'm going to get some more areas right here. I want to leave the uh, the tops. I want to kind of keep that on the purpley side. Switch it up. Put this this balloon to the side. And I'm going to load my plate with more of that lavender color. So it has the similar effect to it. It has more of that balloon type effect. And I'm going to go into this purple. I'm going to overlap into my onto my um, canvas here in the corner. Reload. And give it more of a mixed media kind of feel to it. Okay. So that's pretty. And then I want to get a little more white on here. So I'm going to throw some white on the balloon. Instead of dipping it, I'm just going to throw some on the balloon and paint it with a little water. I'm just layering it and playing. I don't really have a plan except the only plan I have is to add some um, flowers. So just a nice little amount of white. And the white is mixed. It's that buff color. So it's kind of a beigey color. And now you're starting to see more of the um, more of that bokeh kind of look to it. Because it's a little smaller. I'm just painting the um, the very tip of the balloon. And then I'm just gonna Put that right here. Okay. So that's my background, and I managed to get that kind of a bokeh look to it. A little bit of a mixed media look to it. And I'm going to go down here. I'm going to do the same thing down here because this was looking a little lonely. So I'm just going to hit that with the balloon. This is the balloon collaboration, can you tell? <laughs> and then a little bit of purple, dip it into there. I want to get some purple into the corners. I like my, my bottom corners of the canvas to be... Um, a little darker. Sorry for the noise. I'm going to dip again right here. 
And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Now you don't have to do this on your easel. You could do it on a table. But because I paint with the easel, it was already set up. Okay. So that's the balloon part of it. Now I'm going to add some uh, diox dioxazine purple. I'm going to put that on my palette. And then I'm going to start the actual painting part of this uh, piece right here. So I'm going to put some purple on here, and I hope you can see that. Let me check. Okay. There's a little purple, that light color purple there. I'm not worried about it. It's wet enough. It's not going to hurt. And this is where I'm going to add some flowers. Okay. I also want to put some um, green stems in here, but I'm going to do that after I add some flowers. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to use a very small flat brush here. And I'm just going to use straight purple. And then I'm going to highlight it with some white. So I'm going to use straight purple. And I'm just going to come up here. Well, actually, I need to lighten it up just a little bit. That's a little too purple. I'm going to put my uh, titanium white on the palette. Mix it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that should that should help. There we go. I'm just going to make some pretty little flowers right here. And I think I'm going to add some um, some phalo blue to that too. Put a little phalo blue in here. They're kind of crocuses. I, I'm not sure what kind of flower it is, but I'm going to open them up a little bit. I'm mixing a little purple into this white. Blend it in a little phalo blue. Okay. I'm adding my highlights as I go, a little white on the edge. I'm going to put some magenta into the mix. I'm going to put that over here. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of the oh, center seed looking part of it. Give it a little umph. And a little um, magenta. And I mixed it. My brush is still kind of dirty. Giving a little color, a little highlight on here. Okay, and a little color. Okay. 
Now I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm going to add some more um, magenta mixed with some purple. Get a little water in here. A little white. And I'm going to go over and then hit a few more little areas down here to open it up and then when that dries I'm going to add a little white to it. I'm going to move over and get some more down here. I want a really blue, really blue color down here with a touch of purple. Just a touch. I'm going to go down toward the bottom and then get some really bright color here. I'm going to highlight that when it dries. a little more purple to I mean a little more royal blue to it there we go okay and then I'm gonna come up here and wipe my brush off rinse it going to come up here and then add a little bit more white up here on this flower on the tops. Okay. Now I want to add some more blue to that. A little magenta and some blue. Lighten that up. And I'm going to add a little bit more color here, more color here. All right. Okay, that's pretty. I'm going to add a little more color here. And then here, I'm going to make this lighter. So I want more of a pinkish color for some of these flowers in the middle. And they're a little more muted. So they're going to be a, a little fuzzier. So I'm not going to have as much of a defined shape for some of the ones in the center. I have some white. I'm adding a little uh, water to it. So it's not so, um, so it's a little more muted. And I'm gonna go in here and then put some flowers in the background. <clears throat> I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to get my Deerfoot stippler. Play with this a little bit. Yeah, that's the muted. That's the more muted way I want, I want that to look. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this a little brighter. And you'll see when I start adding some more stems and a little more definition, you'll see how that's going to turn out. 
Then I want my magenta, my quinacridone magenta, and I want to add that too to the mix. And I want some muted flowers for that. So here's some quinacridone magenta. more of a pinkish color. I'm going to add some flowers in the background but some really where you can't really tell. I want more white there. Where you can't really pick up on it necessarily. So more of that bokeh thing going on. <clears throat> some more here okay I'm just scattering them around I'm gonna come down here and scatter some around dip in a little bit more of the white here magenta and white all right that's starting to take shape all right I'm just gonna add a little color to that now I'm gonna add some more down here you can see where that's starting to take shape add a little bit more down here Definitely need some more white. Okay. So I have some of these colors in here. I need some over here. Okay. So you see where my my flowers are, are starting to pop up? And then I hope I don't forget to add my um, leaves. All right. I'm going to um, rinse my brush and I'd like to add some um, see. grab another brush I'd like to add some more of the more uh, the less muted less muted <clears throat> flowers and I'm going to add a different color I'm going to add a uh, cerulean blue turn this one into a, a less muted flower add some purple add some on the ends and then I'm adding <coughs> some of that <coughs> excuse me Quinacridone magenta. Okay. I'm going to do that up here. I want to add some quinacridone magenta here. Okay. And then i wipe off my brush. And now 
what I'd like to do is I want to add some greens. So I'm going to take my, um, quit my phthalo blue. Which I still have some on there. And some hands of yellow. some greens change it up a little bit okay. I really like this bright green this is really the kind of green that's in the reference make my brush skinny and I'm gonna add some um, some stems. So I'm adding some stems in the mix. Just some straight down stems. Just gonna go straight down. I like that light color. I'm gonna go straight down here. And this is kind of, this is the kind of look that we're getting here. <clears throat> we're going to have a lot of these stems right here. Make this skinny on this. <clears throat> we're going to have a lot of stems like this. This is part of the design. Especially down at the bottom. I'm going to wet this green so it slides off my brush a little bit better. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the bottom of this and I'm going to really load it up with more greens, more of the stems here. Okay. There we go. Now, what I'd like to do now is get some, grab some white. Some titanium white and then I'm also going to go back to my yellows so I'm going to switch paper plates here this is a bit of a mess switch paper plates I'm going to add my titanium white And I'm gonna make some little, uh, I don't know what you call them. They're kind of like weeds. <laughs> and I'm gonna add them, they're like little button type flowers. Actually, I think I wanna use my Deerfoot stippler because that would be perfect. All right. And I'm just gonna dip into here clean my brush off a little bit. Deerfoot Stippler, man, it really holds paint. So we'll see how I do with this. We'll see if I could get away with it. I'm trying to wipe it off real quick. Okay, let's see what I can get away with. So I'm going to just add some little, um, those little weeds. See how it's, this is perfect for that. And a little bit of that and I'm gonna 
add some bigger ones toward the top. But I want, I'm going to water the bigger ones down a little bit so that they're not so, um, so bright. Water that down. Go with that bokeh look. And these down here, I want them to be bright. I want those to be bright down there. And I want them to correspond with the um, with the leaves, with the stems. Okay, which they are. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with the yellow, and I'm gonna throw some more yellow on there. So I still have yellow that I don't think is dried out yet. And I left it on my brush bag, girl. Did that on purpose. And in some of these, I'm going to make hit the yellow, make it yellow. In some of these I want yellow, so. Just for a little bit of a pop of color. Put some yellow down here. Okay, a little pop of color. All right. And then, what I think I'm going to do now is um, get some of that orange. And get some of that orange on here. the ground part. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to hit some of this bottom part with the orange. Okay. And that should do it. That's it. And that's my little abstract. Now, what I didn't want to forget was to go back and highlight with some white. So I need to put a little bit more white on there. And I want to highlight my um, blue flowers. With some white. I don't have a lot of them. This is going to make them stand out a little bit better. So I want to put some white tips on here. A little in pesto. I'll put some white tips on here. Make it stand out a little bit. here. Make it really stand out there. And then I'm going to go some more with this lavendery color. And um, fill a little bit of that in because I got a little carried away. crazy um, Boca bohemian flower garden look I hope you enjoyed it I had a lot of fun 
and that's with our balloon collaboration so i hope you enjoyed that and i'm signing off i'm angie green please look at all the other videos in the bottom in the description watch the whole video through you'll be supporting our our um, art and i appreciate that thank you